All right. Uh, in the previous video, you observed me controlling a Picoscope 7 software using an iPad. And how did I do that? It's actually fairly simple. I had a laptop running Picoscope 7 software, and I was connected to the laptop using a special program called VNC Viewer that is installed on the iPad. This allowed me to view laptop's display and also use iPad's touchscreen to control what happens in Picoscope. In that experiment, there was no scope. Uh, the Picoscope software was running in demo mode, but now we are going to use the scope with the laptop, with the VNC viewer from an iPad, and so that would be a very good example how you would use it in a, the real world. Also, there will be bonus footage for connecting an iPad to a Raspberry Pi that is running Picolog uh, that is connected to Picoscope 2204A. Enjoy. All right, here I am at the back of the vehicle and I have a Picoscope connected to the CAN bus at the DLC. What I'm interested in is, is whether the CAN bus uh, wakes up when I am trying to open the trunk. However, I cannot see the screen of the laptop that powers up the Picoscope. It's all in the front of the vehicle. However, I have the iPad with me that is connected to the laptop using a program so called VNC Viewer and that allows to forward the display and also respond to the touch screen on the iPad. So let's uh, just open the trunk and see what happens. And as you can see, except some noise, nothing really happened. The bus did not wake up. Now let me show you how it works when uh, we have a signal. So let me just uh, put you over here at the back of the vehicle. and zoom you on the iPad. All right, here you go. Maybe a little bit better. All right, so now uh, I'm going to put the key in the uh, run position. And we have confirmed that we have the CAN bus signal. So let me stop the scope and uh, scroll to the uh, waveform and then uh, just zoom on it. So I just need to go to the zoom controls and select. And we see the packets and we are doing it wirelessly. Here is an example of wireless logging using a Picoscope. So I have a Picoscope 2204A uh, measuring the voltage of a battery and it is connected to Raspberry Pi 4 uh, which has a Wi-Fi connection. And through that Wi-Fi connection I can access the Raspberry Pi uh, using uh, a VNC viewer installed on an iPad. And so once I open the VNC viewer, it shows me the screen. And so here I have Picolog running on the Picoscope. I can select uh, the channel A. And uh, what do we have? Uh, plus 20 range, sample interval 1 second. Sounds good. So we have this channel running that shows uh, 7.5 volts, which is exactly the voltage of our very depleted uh, battery. Um, 
and uh, all we need to do is just to press record and uh, go for 10 minutes and we have the recording done so it will uh, go and record all the voltages that I have for 10 minutes so let it run for a little while and uh, just to demonstrate that it actually it is actually working we can disconnect the battery and see the voltage dropping to zero and automatic rescaling happens so you can see that now we are reading zero uh, just a simple experiment how you can connect iPad to the Raspberry Pi to the Picascope and do wireless logging